got that model up there, Mike. Although we're making instruments that are going into space, some of the fundamentals within the instrument is actually just raw engineering. I started my career here at Rutherford in 1990. I did a four-year apprenticeship and I've progressed from being a craft grade to a technician, to a senior technician, to a deputy manager, and now I'm in the fortunate position of actually managing this world-class facility and the four technicians under me. So this is the Precision Development Facility project support area. In here we've got some of the latest CNC technologies. This is the CNC nano machining area. Uh, this is where we've invested in the very latest CNC technologies. This is a flagship model, Kern Primitive Nano. There's only four of these in the UK. Very accurate machine. We use cutters as small as a hair on this machine to be able to drill holes and machine some of the complex features on some of the devices we're involved in making. We're in a very privileged position in that we're at the forefront of driving technology forward. Not just CNC machines, but water jet cutters, CNC EDM machines. One of my favourite machines is this. This is a Swiss made micromill. It's very old now, this is about 15 years old. It's typically what Swiss watchmakers used to use to make the small cogs, the intricate parts in the very expensive watches. This is typical of the high performance software that we're using to create toolpaths for our CNC machines to operate. When you've got quite a lot of features on this type of model that you generate an awful lot of toolpaths. The laser department have a requirement to make tiny gold cones which they fire lasers at to try and create fusion energy. It's made of pure gold, very soft, difficult to machine. With the assistance we gave them in manufacturing these geometries, they've actually proved the science and we were key to being involved in that. My personal career just gives you an indication of what is achievable. I'm an ambassador for the apprenticeship scheme and we get a lot of young adults coming through here and show them the work and you can see their eyes opening in awe of what they could be doing in the future. I get a lot of job satisfaction from working here using this very latest technology and also the fact that every job is different. That's a big stimulus. We never really know what we're doing in two months time and because of the complex nature of the work as well and the, the thought process that that are required to manufacture these components, um, that's where the job satisfaction comes in. And also the, the knowing that you've had something manufactured in my area that's now orbiting the earth and making a difference to science. Mm -hmm.